With Castor, creating and distributing professional music promotion campaigns has never been easier. Play MPE's dedicated operations team provides full-service assistance to many high-profile clients. So let's take a quick walkthrough of the full-service version of Castor, so you can see how we've streamlined the process of uploading assets, inputting all essential release information, and deciding where to send your release. First, you'll need to sign into your Castor account at castor.plaympe.com. Then you can select the Create New Release button at the top right-hand side. There are now four steps to creating a release in Castor. Upload, Promote, Distribute, and Review and Pay. After clicking Create New Release, you'll see the Files and Metadata section for Step 1, Upload. In the Release Overview section, you'll upload the cover art and fill in all of the essential top-level release information. Please note that anything marked with an asterisk is required information, such as selecting a release type, which indicates whether it is a single, EP, or album. The impact date is the date that radio uses to know when they can add a track to be played on air. Set this for the day you'd like radio stations to begin airing your release. If you don't have a label name, you can just use your artist name and add the word music, for example. If your name is Jenny Smith, your label can be Jenny Smith Music. Next, you'll want to upload the mixed and mastered music files you want to include in your release. You can use the Add Music Files button to browse through your hard drive or use the drag and drop or the upload link. To ensure that your music files are broadcast ready, you'll want to upload uncompressed WAV or AIFF files to make available for curators to download. Radio programmers and music supervisors will need those for airplay and sync placements. However, if your release is only intended to be stream only, for example as an early preview promo, then you could choose to upload high quality MP3s. Depending on your release plan, you can upload one song file or multiple to supply recipients with the original version and or any combination of explicit, radio edit, clean, and or instrumentals. Pro tip, music supervisors love to have all versions of a song as it gives them more options for placement. Some radio stations will play explicit content, however most mainstream radio require clean and or radio edits, so keep that in mind. The track information section is vital so make sure to input all of the pertinent metadata associated with your release. If multiple tracks will have identical information, you can select All on the left in the Track Manager when inputting all of your album's UPC or copyright year, for example. But then, make sure to deselect All when inputting each track's individual ISRC so that it doesn't overwrite everything you just did. What is an ISRC? It stands for International Standard Recording Code, and it's something radio programmers need in order to report when a track is played so that you can get those sought-after royalties. While not required, it is strongly recommended that you always include ISRCs for each track. Here, you'll also be able to determine if your release qualifies as Canadian content and fill out any needed information to credit the writers, publishers, composers, and producers of each track. Once you've completed the upload section and you're ready to move on to the next, click Continue. You can also save your release as a draft at any point in the process if you need more time or have to get additional information before moving to the next step. The Email and Notification Settings section lets your Play MPE release coordinator know when you want your release to go live. The boxes that are marked sender's name and email subject are where you input who your release is from, your company name or just your name, and then a subject line that will let the recipient know what it is. For instance, you could use new music from, and then your artist name, and then song name. The email and notification date and time input boxes are where you indicate when you would like your release email to be sent. We understand some releases can be time sensitive, but please try to give us a minimum of 48 hours to work on your release before it goes live. You can also enable our contact feature, which lets player users reach out to you directly from within player. Simply toggle the feature and add an email address. Curators will be able to reach out to request additional information, assets, and or provide feedback. You can also include contact information in your promotional overview and or attachments. The Promotional Info section is where you can add everything you want included in the body of your promotional email. This is where you can add an artist bio, press quotes, social media links, a press release, video links, contact information, and any other key information you want curators to see first. This will also appear in your release overview in Player. If you wish to add promotional assets available for download, such as promo photos, album art, a bio, or a press release in PDF format, you can do so by clicking on Add Attachment. 
you may upload a total of five attachments. The Special Instructions section is where you can add a message to communicate anything additional to the release coordinator creating your release. For example, if you want anything in bold, or you prefer the video goes in a certain spot, or you want a particular hex code for the background color. Just like before, once you've completed the Promote section and you're ready to move on to the next, click Save and Continue. At the top of Step 3, Distribute, you'll see the multiplier rates auto-populated for your release so you can see how you'll be charged based on the song files you uploaded. Our multiplier rates are calculated according to the total uploaded track time of your release. And finally, you can choose which package list you like your release distributed to. PlanPE's lists are curated packages based on music markets, formats, and curator types. Recipients include terrestrial, internet, and satellite radio programmers, media, bloggers, and curators, plus record label execs, A&R, music industry VIPs, and much more. To select a package list, click on the Browse List button to open the menu. Here you'll be able to scroll through all of the options Play MPE offers and make your selections. If you know what list you're looking for, you can type it into the search bar at the top of the menu, or you can use the navigation on the left to filter by a specific territory or type of list. Once you've picked out a list, check the box next to that list and it will be added to your release. After you've selected all the lists you'd like to use, click Add List to exit the menu. If you have a list of custom recipients that you'd like to include in the release email, click Add Custom List and upload your file. Now that you've chosen your lists, you'll need to decide how those recipients can interact with your release. In the Allow Download section, you can choose to make your release available to download or set it to Stream Only. Once everything is filled and you're ready to review your release, click Save and Continue. The Release Summary section outlines all of the content and details you've provided for your release. Under Content Overview, you can review everything you've uploaded, settings for your email blast, and packages that you've selected or custom lists you uploaded. Expand and collapse these sections using the arrow on the right-hand side to reveal details. If you wish to make any changes, click on the Edit icon at the top of each section, and you'll be rerouted to that step in the process to make any necessary edits. To the right, you'll find the distribution list selections informing you of your balance and total due with any applicable taxes and discounts. If you have a discount code to apply to your release, you can enter it in the Discount Code field. Please note you may only enter one code per release transaction. After reviewing your release details and lists, enter your card information in the Payment Methods section. Your card details are sent to Stripe via a secure SSL connection for payment processing. If you'd like to save your card information for future use across all PlayMPE products, click Save My Payment Details. When you're satisfied with your release, proceed to the Submission and Payment section and click Pay Now. You will no longer be able to make any edits, but your release coordinator will be able to implement any changes that you may want. You'll receive a link to review and approve your release, along with your proof of payment within one to two business days. Once your PlayMPE release coordinator has set up your release, an approval request email will be sent to you, along with a separate email containing a summary of your release and your receipt. Click Review Your Receipt to view your completed invoice and the option to download or print the document from your device. The sample email will show you what your release email will look like when it shows up in the curator's inbox. Please note if you are using a free Gmail account, this email may show up in spam or promotions, so make sure you hunt for it if you don't see it in your main inbox. Once you find the sample email, you'll then have the option to Approve, or you can request changes by selecting the Change Required button. You can also reply directly to the sample email with your feedback and notes for changes. Once you are happy with the final version, you can simply click Approve, and your release is good to go. The release will get distributed to selected lists on the available date, along with the first email blast. Recipients of your release will receive a PlayMPE release email notification. To access the release, curators simply click on the Get It Now button in the email. Even if a recipient doesn't open your email right away, no worries. They'll also see your release appear automatically in their personal player account under New Releases on the available date. It will show up in New Releases under all of the formats you selected. From within Player, curators can choose to flag, stream, and or download your new release. If you've enabled contact, they'll also be able to reach out to you directly for more information. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions about creating a release, please contact support at plaympe.com.